After back-to-back -back explosions, SpaceX launched its mega-rocket Starship again on Tuesday evening in hopes of making it through the entire test flight. According to Associated Press the 403-foot rocket blasted off on its ninth demo from Starbase, SpaceX's launch site at the southern tip of Texas. Residents voted this month to organize as an official city. Plans called for the spacecraft to target a splashdown halfway around the world in the Indian Ocean, after popping out eight objects meant to resemble SpaceX's Starlink Internet satellites. But the satellites could not be released after the door failed to open all the way, nixing the exercise. It was the first time one of CEO Elon Musk's starships, intended for Moon and Mars travel, flew with a recycled booster. There were no plans to catch the booster with giant chopsticks back at the launch pad unlike earlier tests, and the booster plummeted into the Gulf of Mexico. The previous two starships never made it past the Caribbean. The demos earlier this year ended just minutes after liftoff, raining wreckage into the ocean. No injuries or serious damage were reported, although airline travel was disrupted. The Federal Aviation Administration last week cleared Starship for another flight, expanding the hazard area and pushing the liftoff outside peak air travel times. Besides taking corrective action and making upgrades, SpaceX modified the latest spacecraft's thermal tiles and installed special catch fittings. This one was meant to sink in the Indian Ocean, but the company wanted to test the add-ons for capturing future versions back at the pad, just like the boosters. NASA needs SpaceX to make major strides over the next year with Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built, in order to land astronauts back on the moon. Next year's moonshot with four astronauts will fly around the moon, but will not land. Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. Coming up on Max. Wow, Dan, that was incredible. <laughs> we could feel the building shaking here, feel. See those engines powering down? Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation. Incredible flip by Super Heavy Booster, and you can see those six engines, those three engines on the ship ignited. Six healthy Raptors <laughs> running on ship on its way to space. Peak that engine view. Booster doing the boost back. <laughs> Chris, how's it looking over there at Hawthorne, man? Reminder, we are not recovering the super heavy booster today. We are instead going to do booster some... Booster shut down. And there we had a good shutdown of the boost back burn. We've done this in wind tunnels. We've done this in computer modeling. It shows that sometimes the control isn't great. And we are going to relight 13 engines, then bring that down to three engines. As, as, as we talked about earlier, we will be intentionally booster shutting down saved. as the super heavy booster is making its way back down to Earth. We can see those grid fins doing some heavy work. Booster landing start up. Ignited for our landing burn. Does look like we lost telemetry from the booster once we started into that landing burn. Did you see a confirmation that the booster did demise? Ship engine cut off. It ignited all six of its engines and made it all the way through Seco just now. Start dispensing those Starlink yeah, similars. That's a what a view great right view! Right at the bottom of the stack, <laughs> so should be should be able to see them kind of firing out from right there. So really cool. It was unable to actuate 
all the way open, so they are going to close it back up. Hal told me no. The China-Cambodia Golden Dragon 2025 joint exercise staged a live force drill on Monday in both maritime and aerial zones near Cambodia's Sihanoukville port, Chinese state broadcaster CCTV reported. According to Associated Press the operation, involving 11 naval vessels and three helicopters from both countries, simulated a scenario where terrorists hijacked a cargo ship, CCTV said. The joint forces carried out coordinated counterterrorism and anti-hijacking missions, which included coordinated response, escort procedures, counterterrorism and anti-piracy operations as well as integrated maritime and air search and rescue efforts, according to the state media. Later in the day, the two forces held a closing ceremony for the drills. This is the first air-sea live force exercise in the Golden Dragon series of joint exercises, and the first time the Cambodia-China Joint Support and Training Center at Port Reem was utilized in the live force operation, according to state-owned Chinese news agency Xinhua. The joint military drill started May 14 and marks Cambodia's latest and largest joint drill with China. Cambodia is China's closest ally in Southeast Asia. Beijing has helped fund an expansion of the Reem naval base on Cambodia's southern coast, raising worries it could become a strategic outpost for the Chinese Navy in the Gulf of Thailand. Cambodia has repeatedly denied any agreement granting China special privileges or the establishment of a foreign military base. Soso 舰艇编队对恐怖分子实施风控警戒期待组织更大规模的两国海空军演练